If you want to build a storytelling scenario inside Power BI, one of the best visualization charts types you can use is a scatter chart or some people call it a scatter plot. The way that this works is that it has a really special axis in Power BI called play axis, which can be a time span or a year or any sequential order. Uh, I'm going to show you in this video how that works. My name is Reza Rat. Let's jump into the demo. So if you have worked with Power BI, you know that there are plenty of visuals you can use in any uh, report that you want to build. For example, here you can see the list of visuals that I have available. Uh, in addition to these, you also can use custom visuals, which they can appear either here or you can import them from the list of custom visuals. Now, one of the existing visuals in here, which is really helpful, is a scatter chart. A scatter chart, which is this visual, is really helpful for scenarios that you can uh, that you want to tell a story. You have multiple dimensions in your story. A scatter plot by itself requires you normally to have two measures: one to show on the x-axis, the other one on the y-axis. Uh, you can also have a third measure showing that as the size of the bubble. Um, so three measures, but then uh, you can go through all of these measure values through a sequential order value, which can be, for example, the year uh, or the month within the year or the weeks within the month or within the year. All of those kind of things that, ha that has a meaning of a sequence and has relationship with your data. So what I'm going to do is here I'm going to build a scatter chart and I'm going to add my product subcategory. Now I have a product table that has a subcategory column in it. So I'm going to add product subcategory here as the legend of my chart. Um, and what I'm going to show on the X axis and Y axis is I have a sales amount value, internet sales amount. I'll bring that into the X axis, reseller sales amount into the Y axis. Uh, so as you can see here, the first thing about the scatter chart is that it shows every one of those product subcategories as a different color because I added it as a legend. Uh, if you add it as a normal value, it would not have color separation. So that's the difference between value and legend. I'll bring it to the legend because I want to have color separation. Uh, and each position of this shows um, the junction of internet sales in the y axis, reseller sales in the uh, internet sales in the x axis, reseller sales in the y axis. This is a business that sell products related to bikes, such as helmet, gloves, things like that. And um, some of the sales comes through internet channels, some of the sales comes through reseller channels. So that is why I have two axes here, internet sales here, reseller sales there. And I do have another measure that is the total sales. And the total sales, which I'm going to find it out, I'm going to use that for the size of the bubble. So now you can see the bigger the size, the bigger the value. Uh, so these at this corner, they don't have much of a value here, um, but these are the three main product subcategories. Now let me focus only on these three main product subcategories because one of the things about a scatter chart, especially if you are going to use play axis, is that you should not have too many values going around. Every one of these circles would be moving when you add the play axis. So I'll add a filter on product category and I'll set the product category to be only bikes so that I only have these three subcategories here. So let me close this one. And you can see here, I have three product subcategories, touring bikes, road bikes, and mountain bikes. Touring bikes, and let me change this to a different theme so that we have a better visibility of the colors, probably something like this theme, yeah. Uh, so here you see that I have Touring bikes, which is not really selling that much good. It is about $4 million internet sales, about something like a, uh, like a $10 million reseller sales. Whereas here I have uh, more sales on this cat subcategory, which is mountain bikes, more internet sales, more reseller sales. And then I have 
road bikes, even more internet sales and reseller sales. But what I want to understand is that is this trend always like that or in different years of business this has been acting differently? And that is what play axis can help me. As you can see here, we do have a play axis in the scatter chart, which we can use it for this purpose. So what I can do is I'll go and bring um, order dates, calendar year. Now I would bring that from the date table. So here is my date table and I have a calendar year here. I'll drag and drop calendar year to the play axis. Now this uh, does not have to be necessarily a date field or anything like that. It has to be a field that has a meaning of a sequence. Um, one, two, three, four, whatever that has a sequence in it. It could be year numbers, it could be month numbers, week numbers, as long as there is a meaning of a sequence in it, it can be used here. So once I added this calendar year in the play axis, then you'll see the whole thing change. At the top of this chart, I see 2008. Uh, in my sample data set, I only have data from 2005 to 2008. You see a bar at the bottom here that shows uh, from 2005 all the way to 2008. And also, whatever value you see right now is the value of 2008. If I click on the play here, let me make it bigger. If I click on the play here, you'll see that this values changes through different years. So it plays from 2005 to 2008. Interesting. Now, the thing is that it plays really fast. Depending on how many data points you might have, this might play really fast or slow. You can also click on each of these, not on 2005 itself, but if you click somewhere here, like at the top of the bar uh, where that value is, like if I click here, it shows me the values at 2005. So here I can easily see that in that year we had mountain bikes and road bikes. Road bikes was best seller in internet sales mountain bikes on reseller sales. In 2006, road bikes sales increased in both internet sales and reseller sales, making that bestseller in that year. 2007, the internet sales of road bikes decreased, internet sales of mountain bikes increased. So they are pretty much the same in terms of internet sales, but reseller sales wise, road bikes is a still bestseller. And in this year, touring bikes start to sell. So touring bikes, we did not had it even before this year. And if I go to 2008, the reseller sales of both of those drops, their internet sales is still higher, but their reseller sales amount is even less than reseller sales of touring bikes. So something that we could not realize at the very first uh, look at this visual when we did not have that year span. Now with adding this play axis, we can see that whole thing. Not only that, you can actually click on one of these and see the whole path that it took throughout the time to bring it here. And when you hover on any of these values, you can actually see on that particular year, this was the value for internet sales, reseller sales, or total sales, and each of these. And then you can play it so that it shows you how this works. It's, it's amazing. You can even make it uh, more interesting than this by clicking on another one of these and compare them together. So here I can actually, let me zoom in a little bit here, I can play them together and you can compare these two values with each other throughout the time. This is an amazing visual. It is crazy what things you can do with this visual and it is a standard visual in Power BI. This is something that I highly recommend people to go and use and use these features. The same thing would work in Power BI mobile app if you install it as well. Uh, the only thing that I would recommend highly when you are using this is that make sure that you don't have a lot of circles or bubbles going around because right now I have just three and you can see by selecting one or two how uh, how overpopulated this already looks. If you have like 15 bubbles, 15 circles, this would be really crazy. So you don't want to make it too complicated for the users. The main rule uh, of thumb for visualization is always to keep it simple, keep it informative. Uh, I hope this video helped you and under to understand how you can use a scatter charts play axis to do a storytelling. There are other storytelling visuals in Power BI as well, but this is the one that I always recommend and I always show it in my trainings to my customers. I hope this video helped you. Until the next video, bye.